Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch had an epic feud that changed the course of WWE history. In this video, we're going to look back on their rivalry, why it was so important, and how it will be remembered by fans for years to come. Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch, they had a notable feud, particularly in late 2021 and early 2022, uh, where they feuded over the Raw Women's Championship. And that led also into earlier this year. There's uh, so much about this feud that I think people forget and they always just look at 2024, before Mania feud, post Mania feud that helped put Liv on the map. But it was really the origins of this time period, 2021 to 2022, that was so significant. Let's discuss it. At number three, it was the day one pay-per-view event, January 1st, 2022. The rivalry continued, and Liv Morgan received another chance at the Raw Women's Championship. Now, while, yes, day one was a very important step, I think we need to go back to the very, very beginning. Number one, Raw Women's Championship feud. Late 2021, early 2022. After Becky Lynch returned from maternity leave at SummerSlam in 2021, she quickly beat Bianca Belair to win the SmackDown Women's Championship before moving to Raw and becoming the Raw Women's Champion. Anybody remember the weird title swap between her and Charlotte Flair? Ooh. Liv Morgan was one of the challengers who stepped up to face Lynch for the title. Now, Morgan, she, having built a significant momentum and fan support as an underdog at the time, entered into the feud with Lynch, marking her first high-profile singles program. Remember, this was before she beat Ronda Rousey for the Women's Championship on SmackDown. Fans were behind Liv, seeing her as an up-and-coming star deserving of a championship opportunity. Step two, it was their first title match, Raw, December 6, 2021. Liv Morgan got her first shot at the Raw Women's Championship on this episode of Raw. The match had significant built-up, and Liv was being portrayed as a passionate underdog. Despite putting on a solid performance, Liv ultimately lost the match when Liv pinned her by grabbing the ropes, a typical heel tactic controversial finish help extend their feud and that leads us to day one the rivalry continued Morgan received yet another shot at day one for the raw women's title once again Liv well she came close to victory but was ultimately defeated by Becky Lynch who retained the title in a hard fought match while Liv didn't win she earned the respect of fans and critics for her performance showing that she could hold her own in a major title match now, this is the key takeaway from the impact on Liv Morgan's career. The feud with Becky Lynch was a pivotal moment in her career. It was her first main event style in WWE and helped solidify her as a serious competitor in the women's division. Number two, although Liv did not win the Raw Women's Championship, the program elevated her status, showcasing her improvement in the ring and her ability to connect with the fans emotionally. And I believe that and this feud really helped her get to where she went so she then went and won money in the bank she cashed in she won this man and women's title from ronda rousey and she held the belt for a little bit there then she had kind of a wonky rest of 2022 early 2023 was weird as well they used her when they could and when they really wanted to and then she took time off and it was due to injury so they did the angle with rhea ripley and she was gone for the rest of 2023 Fast forward, we go back to this feud because at the Royal Rumble, Liv Morgan, she makes a big return coming out of that show. She declares, hey, this is a Liv Morgan revenge tour. And everyone's like, sign me up for that. Let's go. She enters into a feud with Becky Lynch, a very important feud. It elevated her yet again. It reminded fans of what they had seen before, the stops and start pushes and the jobs and everything like that. They showed that, hey, Liv Morgan is here to be someone. You should reckon with her. And that's what happened. That's why it was so important. And so then she does a feud with Becky. She puts over Becky. That's fine. And I'll tell you why. Because Becky, she needed to win Elimination Chamber. She was going to go to WrestleMania 40. She was going to challenge Rhea Ripley for the Women's World title. And I strongly believed that she was going to win the championship at WrestleMania 40. She was in contract talks with WWE at the time. This made a lot of sense to me. However, however, they did not. They kept the title on Rhea Ripley. She had been a champion for over a year at that point. And Becky Lynch, she was going to stick around for a little bit longer while they were going back and forth. So then you have Liv Morgan enter into a feud with Rhea Ripley. They do that angle on Monday Night Raw and Rhea Ripley gets injured. She suffers an AC joint sprain in her shoulder. 
and it's devastating. It's devastating to her. It's devastating to the fans. It's devastating to the company. She had to vacate the championship. She was out of this major feud, or what we thought, because at the time it wasn't a major feud. They were going to do a one-off where he was going to beat her. Liv Morgan, she was not going to be this huge star. But then Rhea got injured. And then they realized, oh crap, Becky Lynch is taking time off. She's not renewing her deal. Regardless of what we do, we have to create a new star. We have to create a new top star. A new top star in which will help us take over the Raw Women's Division while Rhea is out. What are we going to do? Well, we have Liv. She did really good in this Becky Lynch feud. And she's the one that injured Rhea, so... Why not? Let's also piss off the fan base by not letting her win the Battle Royal on Monday Night Raw, uh, despite the fact that the fans wanted to see that, and they knew Becky was on her way out. And so they gave the belt to Becky, and Becky won it. And then they feuded some more. And then you go to King and Queen of the Ring PLE, and guess what? Becky Lynch puts over Liv Morgan, she drops the title, and more importantly, they align Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan together. And that was a crucial, crucial decision. Then, two nights later, Monday Night Raw, Steel Cage, Becky Lynch, she wraps up her commitments with WWE. She puts over Liv yet again, two nights in a row, or or two matches in a row within a three-day span, right? That helped Liv Morgan get on the map. That helped Liv Morgan continue her big push and her alignment with Daddy Dom and her feud with Rhea Ripley. And then when Rhea came back, guess what? After months of being pushed as a top star, opening, closing, and doing multiple segments on Monday Night Raw, Liv Morgan, well, she had the natural fit, the natural feud, the natural heat with Rhea Ripley, who the fans had turned babyface and who wanted to see succeed. And that's what happened. Rhea Ripley, she comes back. They do this epic feud. They're still in this epic feud as a recording of this video. You do the SummerSlam match. Rhea, she puts over Liv. Right call. You had outside interference. Freaking Dirty Dom. Then you have Bash in Berlin. They do the mixed tag team match. Dirty Dom, Liv, they put over Rhea and Damian Priest in a mixed tag team match. And now we're going into bad blood. Now we're going into what could be the blow off. I hope it's not. I really do. But I think that we are going to get a continuation of this feud. I actually think Rhea is going to get screwed in this match yet again. Right, They keep going this ping pong, ping pong. You win, I win. You win, I win. I think that's where they're going with this feud. And so that would lead to a crown jewel match, which I hope they don't do. Or a what I hope happens, they do a Team Liv versus Team Rhea um, match at Survivor Series and War Games because we already know the men's War Games match is going to be on Raw. You need one from, uh, or excuse me, you have one on SmackDown with the Bloodline versus Bloodline. You need one for Raw. And I think Liv and Rhea could do that. That way you can extend this and maybe they do the payoff at Royal Rumble, right? Um, or even Saturday Night's main event. That would be cool. Have them main event, Saturday Night's main event. How about that? I love that idea. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. But let me know down in the commentary below where do you think they're going with this feud. Um, and if you want to see more content from about Liv Morgan, check out this video right here. Check out the rest of our playlist. And I will see y'all in the next video.